Hey guys, Antonio Zilla here. Welcome to a new video. Today, we're gonna... We're gonna be reviewing the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Roar of Ors Baryonyx. So first of all, let's take a look at the packaging. So as you know, it's the capture cage style, which I really like. And there's a volcano. It says Baryonyx. And then on the back, it says push button for sound and chopping action. Baryonyx and then Baryonyx. It's like all the different languages. Baryonyx, I think that's French. I'm not so sure. But then you get um, other like requests for like collect them all sort of stuff. Like here's the Allosaurus, the Metriacanthosaurus, and the Triceratops. Now I have reviewed the Allosaurus, you can check that out on my channel. So yeah. So anyways, oh no. Let's get this thing out of its box. So here is the Baryonyx out of its box. Oh my god! Let's put the tail on. So here's Barry out of his box. Now, this is most certainly my favorite Roar of Ore so far. Sorry, Allosaurus. But this one takes the spotlight as far as the Roar of Ores goes so far. And um, you can see that the detail is exquisite. Even the paint, it's very simple, but it looks just like the Baryonyx in that one scene from Fallen Kingdom. Oh, and yeah, also, I got my tickets to go see Jurassic World Fall. Stupid photo bombing dinosaur piece of- Anyways, the sculpt is absolutely- Oh my goodness. My mom is hanging out with her best friend right now, so you might hear ah, or laughing or something like that. That sounds like a pterodactyl, so forgive me for that. So the sculpt, once again, looks just like the movie. It, all the great sculpting goes- Oh my gosh, this thing has a st stupidly long neck. It looks like a sauropod. Jeez. I never knew the Baryonyx had such a long neck. And you can see all the great sculpting. You can even see sculpted ribs right there. And you can see they like, like for the button to activate the action feature, the roar of roaring action feature. Roar of roaring. <laughs> um, uh, they make it jagged around the edges so it looks like it's kind of like scales. So like it's not just an obvious circle, which is pretty cool. And you can see all these crocodilian like osteoderms on its back. It's so cool. And also there's a minor assembly piece right here. This is the tail, but it's really easy to snap in. It's not like it's impossible. Anyways, all the great sculpting and the muscle structure and all that great stuff goes all the way down to the little dino feet. So as far as Barry's articulation goes, his or her mouth, whatever, it can open and close, but it's loose and it won't stay there, but that comes into play with the action feature. Now I do have a hack on how to keep it closed I'll show you that after the end of the review. So anyways, then the um the, the arm can oh oops, I didn't mean to activate the roar. The mouth can open I mean the the arms why'd I get the arms mixed up with the mouth? The the arms go up about that far and then they go back that far, but they also have the hinge joints so they can move out, and then while they're moved out, they can swivel up. And they can swivel down quite a bit. And also the legs have that outward pivot thing, which all the new toys have that's like for the Mattel Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom merchandise. It's a super long name, but the legs also go, you know, 360 degrees, just as you, uh, ju uh, just as you would expect. <laughs> Same thing with the other leg. And then this isn't exactly articulation, but the tail is slightly bendy. And finally, his action feature. So if you press on his back, <laughs> It creates a sound. Now, the sound is slightly disappointing. Uh, it's a recycled T-Rex roar. Something is coming. It's a T-Rex. It's a T-Rex. Stop! It's not a T-Rex! See? I told you. Oh my god! Alright, let me show you the rest of the sound effects. So the next one... It's a shorter T-Rex roar. And then... I 
really like that one. It's like a stomping, unique stomping, and then you get a recycled Indominus Rex Roar. Even the Indominus Rex Roar would have been a better choice, th choice than just a regular T-Rex Roar, for a, especially for a Baryonyx. Like, jeez, what the heck? And that's the other sound effect. It's like just growling, which is also a T-Rex. And yeah, so overall there's four sound effects. And... Yeah, most of them are re recycled T-Rex roars, which is kind of sucks. They should have used the Spinosaurus. That would have been the best. All right, so let me show you the hack on how to close the mouth. So when you, when the, the box that the Baryonyx comes in, there's a clear plastic strap around the neck. When you cut that, cut a tiny little piece that's about a centimeter long, and then bend it almost halfway, and then take that and put it in... Hang on this slot right oh no oh dear, oh dear i dropped it put it in this slot right here the second one right there and then the mouth will stay closed which is pretty neat pretty neat that's what i meant to say pretty neat all right so i just added the baryonyx to my dinosaur stampede she fits in pretty nicely with the collection and you can see I did the closed mouth pack with the Roarvor Allosaurus as well. And all of this stuff on the table has been reviewed on my channel. So that was the review of the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Mattel Roarvor's Baryonyx. If you're interested in my channel and my content, I really suggest you hit the like button, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy reviews.